And welcome back, everybody, to another, to another Ark Survival with Alex. It's called Beach Bob Survival. Same thing? Well, not really, but... What are those fish in this water, by the way? Piranha. Oh. Well, like some pretty big fish. Here, come down here, help me kill this wolf. Didn't get me. Do I need to pick you up? No. You're fine. No, I'm safe. Okay. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, but I see where the little bastard's running off to. Did he Come take something? Did he take something? No, no, he doesn't take. He just knocks you off and then runs away like a little bitch. Come back here. Got him. Much better. Yeah. Keep guard while I get dressed again. Ooh. There we go. Okay. Now let's head back to base. Okay. Provided you have your stuff too. Yeah, I do. I already picked it up. Well, I won't be landing any anywhere like that again. Or getting near the ground, even. Yeah? Well, I mean, it's not something you can very well hope to avoid. Not in this okay. area, at least. I was, I'll at least do that in, like, the... In the, um... Beach areas, maybe. What are those big dead trees to the left? Big dead trees? Yeah, there's some huge dead trees way out in that direction. Uh, oh, those are swamp trees. The leaves just don't render from this distance. Oh, okay. Yeah. They're very gnarly, though. I almost passed up our cave. Let me check on the beaver, see how he's doing. Mm, he's at 89%. Let me give him a little more narcs. Oh, I got 55 to open that. So, so what have you learned from this little encounter? Um, that I'm still stupid and ugly. No. And I have no idea what I learned. Okay, let me uh, fill you in then. Okay. It's called Look Before You Land. I made the mistake of landing without looking around for what caused you to fall off your bird at that height. You see, I thought you would landed, hadn't even noticed the wolf coming, and got killed. But when we arrive there and your bird is flying and not attempting to kill anything, that should have told me something. That you didn't fall off your bird. You were knocked off your bird. I see a griffin attacking some, so I'm going to turn around and not go that way. Yeah, griffins are kind of um, stupid in the wild. Actually, uh, so long as you remain close to the ground, yeah, griffins are mostly harmless. Really? Wild griffins are mostly harmless, yes. Because, um, have you ever been in a game 
where an enemy has such a large turning radius that oh. it just sort of makes circles yeah. around you while trying to hit you. Uh -huh. Griffins are similar in that, um, and they don't do much damage while wild. So, really, you're pretty okay. <laughs> So we have good news. That horse, he actually got stuck between a cactus and a rock and can't move. So he's going to be there until we find a way to source some carrots. Okay. Ah, and the uh, Castoroids just got tamed. Oh, good. Yeah, he's level 197. Now we have a good wood harvester. And a good stone harvester. I'd say we should get a better thatch harvester, but we don't have a way to transport one. Nope. Obviously, because it's, it's not going it's too there. big. What, what is it? Ah, uh, Spinosaur. You... I'm going the oh. other way. I turned around as soon as it loaded in. Well, hold on. If there's a Spinosaur in that direction, you don't necessarily have to land anywhere near it. Well, I, I need to a little bit. Okay. It's not like an emergency landing, but I don't want to run out of stamina and be in a really bad predicament. I was trying to kill something small, and it was running. And then it, mm. does, it ran towards the Spinosaur. Right. Oh, there's these little guys that you could pet that uh, levels up your dinosaurs if you pet them up Lister here. Blistersaurs, yeah. You want to carry one back, uh, right click to pick it up. Got it. Yeah, I was, uh, before you came in, I was watching a uh, hell of a boss. Ah. I like that show. The newest episode? Well, yeah but also all the episodes in general. Yeah, it is pretty good. The newest one was I pretty like, fun, I, I like the, uh, uh, my, my favorite one is actually the third episode, but because, you know, the pilot doesn't count as season one, episode one, it's actually called the second episode. Yeah, is that the one where they go to the beach? No, that's the one with the hookers. No, I'm talking about uh, the one where it's all about Stolas. Oh, the owl guy? I like that opening scene where he's singing. Yes, I, I do too. Alright, so I've got it here. What do I do now? Got what here? This thingy. Oh, that. Um, one moment. Putting food in last item slot to feed. Here. So do I just feed it? Oh, uh, right. Put that in the last slot of your hotbar. And I just follow him around till he loves you. Okay. I'm not wearing anything, apparently, still. Yeah, consider putting your armor back on. Yeah, because they start to get cold. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And there goes your Argentavis. Now, the only reason I named my Argentavis is so I could tell which one was mine and which one's yours. I'm not planning on doing the whole naming thing this time. Yeah. Not as badly. Might name one or two things, but not much. You say that every time. No, last time I straight up <laughs> said I was going to name everything. Straight up said it, I think. Except you didn't. I tried to. See, Charlie, you got to remember something. In this game, especially since this is a PvP game, uh -huh. 
You're going to lose a lot. Yeah, I know. It's just it's like a Nuzlocke. Actually, no. it's not. It's harder. <laughs> it's, not, it's not like a Nuzlocke. In the Nuzlocke, it's self-imposed. You lose your tame, but you lose your Pokemon because it gets knocked unconscious in battle. This one, you lose well, it because it literally dies. Yeah. But also, unlike a Nuzlocke, it's not you as a trainer who's in trouble. I guess I don't understand then. See, when you go into a Pokemon battle and you're doing the Nuzlocke challenge. Yeah. Oh, it's. If you lose, you don't die. Yeah, you just lose those Pokemon. But if you lose here, you die. You die. I know some people act as if they if they white out they die. Is some how some people do their rules. I know it's not sensical and it is silly, but some people actually do it like that. Or if they white out they're just dead. Whenever Joey was doing one, that was one of the rules was if you white it, if you white out at any point, you must restart the entire game. That seems like an incredibly foolish rule to self-impose. Well, I did there, that because as he wanted... As a matter of fact, oh, I on, believe look. there was one Pokemon game where you physically had no choice but to white out. Because the game literally designed it where you were supposed to white out and lose. I think maybe that was somewhere in Soul Silver or Heart Gold. I can't remember uh, for sure. No, it's not it's not that you're supposed to, is that you can and it doesn't affect the story. It still continues on. That's all it is. It actually determines one of the later Pokemon that he tames. So if you do wide out he gets one Pokemon or it learned or a Pokemon learns a different move than what it would if he if you don't wide out. I've only wided out to that fight like once. It, it, I know what fight you're talking about. A lot of Pokemon games are like that too. The May fight and Ruby, Emerald, and Sapphire is the same way. You don't have to win that fight. Wait a minute. Wait, wait. Uh, One of the fights. No, no, no. You, you, oh, yeah. One well, of the fights you don't have to. There's a couple of them where she'll just be standing there in your path and she'll be like, oh, let's have a quick battle. No, there's a... So a... The most infuriating fight with May, Forget in my what... opinion... <sighs> Is um, it's in that long winding stretch of grassy path, yeah, that goes through the ocean, uh, that heads up to Mauville City. That's the ocean. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. It, it's a little grassy path that heads through the ocean. In other I, words, it. Runs well, I know what you're talking right about. To the cycling road. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I didn't know that was an ocean. I thought it was yeah, like. And May, but I know what you're and talking May about. was sitting there. Right in the middle of the path, and it's like you have to fight her, and it's so stupid because she's right dead middle in the middle of that path. So you you have to fight your way in, and now you're weakened. So yeah. it's like, yeah, I remember that. I don't know exactly what fight you're talking about. Yeah, and that's when she first gets her whalemer. Uh, that I usually. That also yeah. um, determines on what starter you And choose. I believe she has her grow vial, too. Yeah, she, yes. she usually has her grow vial at that. Her, her starter is already uh, That's if evolved. you choose a mudkip, though. Yeah, it is the second yeah. form of anything. But uh, the Whelmer and the uh, starter Pokemon is actually all determined by what Pokemon and, you choose to and start. That's, that one is a super hard battle to do. Because there are no fire Pokemon available to you up till that point. Uh-huh. Yeah. I've always had a problem with her Pelipper. Her Pelipper never really vexed me that much, because I would usually get a hold of some Electric-type Pokemon, like a um, Magnetrick. Yeah, I never did. Which, yeah, at least one Electric-type Pokemon is usually good in that particular sense. Yeah, I would always cool. love to get a Skarmory when I was out there in um, the Ashfields. Yeah, always tried to get a Skarmory in the Ashfields. Uh. 
you know, when it came to flyers, it was always either Tropius or Skarmory for me. I never really liked tro uh, Tropius. I always liked Skarmory. Well, its unique type combination gave it some bonuses. It did. It was really, really buff, for sure. It definitely had really good, um, good, um, Stabs. attack. Yeah, it had really good so, defensive you know, attack. One one attack that one uh, Pokemon I never really could bring myself to tame in that game. What? An Altaria. That one was a hard one to get to, though. No, it wasn't. You could find those. It's little pre-evolved forms. Uh, yeah, Squaw could... Blue over there by um. Meteor Caverns. Basically. Yeah, I know that much. Meteor Falls. Meteor Falls, yeah. Yeah, I, I know that they very were, easily. They weren't hard to find, but it, I mean, it was a hard dragon to train and them. flying type is just... They were actually... Weird typing. They actually require a ton of experience to actually level up enough to get to Altaria, though. Oh, really? It requires one of the most in that game to actually evolve to Altaria. Metagross is one of the only other Pokemon that requires that much, other than like Salamence and Flygon, of course. Yeah. But like all the dragons. And then, of mm. course, there's Metagross, which is a pseudo legendary. I think Metagross takes the most XP in the entire game to get to, um, to full, uh, evolution. Who was your favorite flyer from that? Uh, from Pokemon, anyway. From all of Pokemon. Yeah. Uh, no legends. I wouldn't choose a legend anyway. Mm. Uh, I would probably really have to say Flygon. Aerodactyl. Yeah, I know Aerodactyl's yours. Yeah, I mean, because th that thing was a speed demon. It really was. Flygon was pretty good too, though. Yeah, Flygon was good. I remember when one of our battles, I'm, I was actually surprised... Because Flygon managed to outspeed my second fastest Pokemon. Uh huh. I think he actually had a speed tie with your Aerodactyl. Yeah, at one point. Yeah. The only reason, though, that um, that I think my Aerodactyl outsped him at one point was because I was doing the Mega Evolution thing, which yeah. just makes his speed go like. <laughs> Oh, through the roof. Sorry, I just hit my mic connected. Yeah, and that is true. Yeah. Um. I can't remember that battle too well after that, though. Yeah. Um. I think you may have won that one. I can't remember, though. Uh, I may have. My Victini probably see. pulled through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Yeah, yeah. It did. It did. Yeah. You were using, I think, Fusion Bolt. Yeah. Fusion Bolt, Fusion Flare, V Create, and Searing Shot. Yeah, I, I know. I can, I can remember those. Uh, let me turn on this fire. Oh, yay. Light. It is kind of cold out here. I'll put in some meat to cook. Okay, so. Let me take a look and see how much metal we have and if we have the necessary resources to make the Castoroid saddle. Okay. Uh, I guess you want narc berries in the mortar and pestle, don't you? Probably, yeah. Should I, should I start making more narcotics? Since they don't you know, disappear ever. Yeah. Uh let me let me see here. Do we have a casteroid? Oh, unlocked it. Level sixty one. Okay. So well, let's see the saddles here. Uh he'll need hundred and forty cementing paste and a hundred metal and hundred and eighty thatch. I know where I can find that much cementing paste, but I should probably wait till dawn, and you should probably come with me. Okay. I'm making more narcotic, by the way. Okay. Since we have the stuff to do before the meat spoils and disappears completely. Narcotic never does. I figured it was worth yeah. that. Yeah, I'll probably have to take you off to the bog when we go out hunting, and I'll show you where the... Um, that's kind of what I was trying to do, was get meat for my bird, so we at least had some. The spoiled meat thing. That where too. you can find it, yeah. A bird does have some, but not a bunch. Yeah, 
Yeah. Um, yeah, we're actually short on one gatherer, but that's okay. What gatherer? Uh, okay, well, look. I picked the Doodicarus here because Doodicarus is good for gathering stone. I picked the beaver here because the beaver is great for gathering wood. Now, there's an animal that's best at gathering um, thatch, but the problem is he's too big for us to carry right now. Okay. Yeah, it's a rhino. Scissors? Huh. Yeah, scissors is something you can make to change your hairdo, and also uh, to shear Ovis. I was looking at all of the smithy things that could be made. Do I need to even research, like, the metal tools and stuff? Is that worth me doing? Um, yeah. It'd probably be a good idea to have the metal tools. Um, but, again... We uh, oh, have... I don't... Yeah, I know, but I don't want to research things I don't need to be researching because of things like that. But, like, say, the metal tools, I mean, that's a useful thing to have, really. Yeah, there, there's the basic things, and then there are the things that are, like... And maybe we'll leave that up to the later game. Yeah, like, I shouldn't be researching, like, metal walls and things like that. Because you'll really be doing all of the building. I'll only ever need to know the thatch. Um. Because if I, I ever have know. to build I something, mean, I'm I, may need, I may need your help when it comes to building. Um, but That's fine. For right now, let's not worry about it. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So, I got metal tools and... So what's better, a sword or a lance? Lances can only be used on the back of an animal, and it doesn't actually do any damage, so a sword. But even then, you don't need it. I was just curious. All right, I'm not going to yeah. bother with them then. I mean, I do have a bow, and I'm really better off not being close to things. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> no, no one's ever better off being close to things. Uh, let's Especially things see. that want to kill and eat you. By the way, can you still see everyone who's online? Because I remember somebody came on to the Crystal Isles earlier today. I can't see the people currently online. I can just see people talking. No, no. That's all I can see. That uh, site that was that needed the server name, it doesn't see our server. So we're waiting for daytime, right? Basically, yeah. I'm gonna head to the other end of the um, valley and gather up some thatch and shit so I can continue um, smelting metal. Alright. I'm relocating some dinos to be within range of the pet guy so they just kind of passively level up like your Argentavis which I'm sure you would like to keep giving weight which I'm, I'm not touching him though I didn't move him closer nah actually I've been boosting his melee really I yeah Argentavis is actually a pretty strong uh, attacker Oh, okay. I've been hitting mana with weight and stamina right now. I'm probably now weight. Weight is also an appropriate usage of it. Yeah. Because they have large discounts when it comes to um, calculating the weight of certain things like metal, stone, wood, and thatch. So yeah, they're they're a pretty good gatherer bird, but they're also a carrier and a fighter. Did you they're say you need a... fiber? Well, some fiber, yes, but I've got a lot of fiber. Right. We have enough right now. Okay, I, I wasn't sure. I was about to say I've got a ton of fiber, and it's like weighing me down. Other than all these berries I'm holding, I'm holding over a thousand berries. Let me put the fiber in a chest. Sure. Gosh darn. Uh, you were cooking meat, though, weren't you? You were. Yeah. I, th 
think eating the berries will be worth it for now. Because one, it'll lighten my load by a lot. It'll feed me and fill up some of my thirst. I have eaten over 400 berries. White berries dehydrate you. Note it. And by the looks of it, so do red berries. You. What was that noise? What noise? I don't know. I kept hearing something. Yellow berries look like they hydrate you. A little. Hmm. I'm heading back to the river to refill my, uh... Oh, right. Uh, hey. Yeah? Um... You know what? Let's head to the river. Hold on. Yeah. I need to refill mine. And sun also is also coming up, which is good. Yeah. That means no one will notice the heat of our forge is working. Huh? Where'd you go? I went straight up and backwards, because that's where I've been going. It's No, Charlie. That's not the river. Oh, well then... Hold on. Okay, Mr. Turkey see just logged on to Crystal Isles. See this? Did you see that? Mm. Oh, I guess it shows up at the top. Yeah, it does. All I'm seeing in chat is just island, though. And Ragnarok on one person. Yeah, that means they don't want people to know they're around. Huh? People, the people that aren't talking means that? Yeah, probably. Why do you think we're not talking? Uh, so people don't know we're here. This is exactly. over where I saw the Spinosaur, by the way. Yeah, I know. Okay. This is the river. Heads out to sea. There's also a uh, Castroids nest out here where we could get a good bit of cementing paste. I see a gator. There is a gator in there. What? what is that back there? Back where? Back there behind us eating that animal that just ran away. Here he goes, right there. Know. Right where? It's it's like a uh it's the big gator looking one. Oh that that's a sarco, you idiot. Yeah, it's a gator. They're closer to uh uh, crocodile. Now this, on um, the other hand, right here, a sarca is a caprosuchus. It is what people call a gator. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anyway, let's get a move on before something notices and tries to kill us. Yes, I'm fine with this. I'm assuming you're sprint flying, right? Yes. Okay. Am I to assume you aren't? No, I am. That's why okay, I was asking. Well, I was making sure you just wasn't that much faster than me. Which would be crazy. Yeah, we're looking for a beaver dam sitting out here in the water. I remember seeing a baryonyx in the water not too far from where I saw one, so I think we're in the right area. right because they just come with cementing paste what's that uh, hold I think that's on a griffin to our left yeah okay sorry that was mom anyway Let's see here. Well, there's a Spinosaur up ahead. Wait a minute. What's that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See a kangaroo? No, no, no. That's no. That's a moss stop. So well.
Hopefully no one's come and got it already. Well, usually beaver dams are typically highly contested on PvP servers. Other the cementing paste, I'm assuming. Yes, yeah, cementing paste is the primary ingredient ingredient used in the production of polymer. Yeah, I see a raptor However, to our right. I mean, to our left. Yeah. Okay, so we picked the wrong river to follow. I really Let's, like this uh, sand area. Yeah, yeah. It is hot here. Yeah, not really. I'm wearing gilly. Now it's not. Okay, let's keep moving. I still mm. really like the uh, sand area a lot more than the mountain yeah. area, but the mountain area is a lot safer. Yeah, the mountain area is a lot safer and it has a lot more cover. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. It's a lot more cover. What about uh, predatory wise? Now, predator-wise, the mountains are more dangerous. However, since, you know, we get the physical protection of having all those hills and barriers around us, uh, it kind of evens out. Okay. Yeah. Do you know what, know what else evens out? What? The end of the episode. That was awful. Oh, they're only going to keep getting worse. I think we got time for one more episode. So let's see. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.